Today is uh, February the 23rd, 2012. I'm uh, starting on a, an Ampeg SVT. It's got uh, six 6550s in it, big amp. And uh, once again, well, let me show you what, what led me to it pretty quickly. I'm, uh, I'm driving just the amplifier right here. I'm not using the preamp and tone control section. And uh, goodness, it's got some got some noise in it, but uh, maybe loose connections. When I uh, increase the drive here, look at that. That's pretty bad. You can see that. See the, the top part's conducting a whole lot more than the bottom part. Right there's a zero cross. Output is uh, only 13 and a half volts, 15% distortion. Really bad distorted waveform. Really bad. And <clears throat> once again, look, observe this. Look at this tube. 360 degrees or so. This one is the same. Look at this one. That one's 200. That thing's 150 degrees less. And this one, 180, 90. The next one, 180. The next one. So we got 180, 180, 180 something, 200 something. Wow, nearly 400. Really hot again. That's telling me there's something wrong with those output tubes, and since I'm driving just a power amp right here, that's pretty obvious. Can't say it's the tubes yet. Hopefully not the uh, transformer, the output transformer. Anyway, this is the beginning of it, so I'll uh, try to continue to document it and hopes that it'll help. Okay, back to the big MPEG. <clears throat> Uh, what I'm looking at and what I found is in the plates of these uh, 6550s, see there's six of them, is they each have a 10 ohm resistor off the plate. Hooks them all together over to the output transformer. 10, 10, 10. Same down here, 10, 10, 10. So what I've done is uh, since some tubes are cold, relative to the other ones. What I've done is I'm, I'm measuring between the plates, so the maximum resistance between any two plates on this side should be 20 ohms. Let me show you what we get here. Okay, there's one tube right there on pin 3. That's the plate. We go over to pin 3 of the second one. That's between two plates we get 12 ohms. It should be about 20, but at least it's not open. We go to the next one, right there, and it's open. So one of those 10 ohm resistors is burned open. That's one thing that's wrong with it. <clears throat> one way of troubleshooting. I've already checked the cathodes. The cathodes are all uh, connected together properly and grounded. Uh, that, that may be its only problem. I'll have to pull this board out, probably uh, change all six of them. Resistors are cheap. But we'll see if we can go over to the other side right here to pin 3 and pin 3 and we see first I got to get on pin 3 and pin 3 there we go there's our 12 ohms so it looks like there's about 6 ohms in each one and then we go to the other one over here and we see the same thing so it looks like these three are working but one of these this one right here in particular has quit Maybe other problems in there, but that's certainly one one issue that uh, you can determine if you like to work on your own amplifiers from uh, just using an ohmmeter. Of course, you've got to always make sure it's unplugged, the capacitor to discharge, or you could be in for a very bad experience. And some final adjustments on this old beast. Um, I've measured each of the tubes on Tube Tester and I've, I've put the same ones of 
on each side. I've matched them up. Uh, this thing came to me with three 12AX7s in it. These are supposed to be 12BH7s. You can put the 12AX7 and it seems to work quite well for the 12DW7 uh, supposed to be which I understand is a mix of a 12X and 12AU7. 12AU7 doesn't do well in here, but I put the 12B to 12BH7s. I adjusted the, uh, the balance and I adjusted the bias on each. And now, as a maximum, here's my output. Pretty linear. I got the same amount of wiggle at the top as I have at the bottom. Not quite clipping yet. Not completely. Less than 10% distortion. 34.8 volts across 4 ohms. 34.8 is uh, 34.8 squared 4 divide. It'll do uh, 302 watts. That's 302 watts we're looking at and it uh, doesn't look bad at all. I'd say the old lamp uh, meets its specs. That's at 100 hertz too, by the way. 103 hertz, so it's at low frequency. So I'm, I'm very pleased how this one's turned out. It's turned out to be a real jewel. Hope this helps.